Order. Order. I call this meeting to order. This is the Standing Committee on Human Resources, and I'm the Chair, Nolan Young, the MLA for Shelburne. Today we'll review appointments to agencies, boards, and commissions, and I ask everyone to put their phones on silent, and I'll ask committee members to introduce themselves for the record, uh, stating their name and constituency, starting with Mr. Harrison. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Larry Harrison, MLA for Colchester, Muscadaba Valley. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Dave Ritzy, MLA for Truro Bottle Hill, Millbrook Salmon River. Good morning, Johnny McDonald, MLA for Hans East. Good morning, Melissa Sheehy Richard, MLA for Hans West. Good morning, everyone. Susie Hansen, MLA for Halifax Needham. Good morning, Ali Doale, Halifax Armdale. Good morning, Braden Clark, MLA for Bedford South. Good morning. And for the purposes of Hansford, I recognize the presence of Legislative Council um, Karen Kinley and Legislative Committee Clerk Judy Cavanaugh. On today's agenda, we have appointments to agencies, boards, and commissions. And um, MLA Sheehy Richard. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, for the Department of Advanced Education, I move that Jim Horwich, Maggie Marwa, David Van Der Watering, Sylvia Paris Drummond, Catherine Toop, and Sarah McGinnis be appointed members of the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design Board of Governors. Is there a discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. MLA Sheehy Richard. Thank you. Uh, for the status of women, I move that Paula Meninkin be appointed president and member, and that Sinisar Salison Potty and Sarah McDonald be appointed members of the Advisory Council on the Status of Women. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. Emily Sheehy Richard. For the Department of Economic Development, I move that Judy Dauphiny be appointed member of the Peggy's <laughs> Cove Commission. Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. MLA McDonald. Thank you, Mr. Chair. For the Department of Justice, I move that Cheryl Knockwood be appointed the Chair and Commissioner, and that Cynthia Dorrington be appointed Commissioner of the Nova Scotia Human Rights Commission. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. MLA McDonald. Thank you, Mr. Chair. For the Department of Justice, I move that Jamie Stevens be appointed member of the Cumberland County for the Police RCMP Advisory Board. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. MLA McDonald. For the Department of Skill, Labor, Skills, and Immigration, I move that David Giles be appointed member, motive sector, of the Apprenticeship Board. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. MLA McDonald. For the Department of Service Nova Scotia and Internal Services, I move that Adam Tippett be appointed member. Ambler? Oh, sorry. Emballer. Uh, I know. Um, embalmer? Embalmer, yeah, sorry. And that Donald McGilvery and Louisa Horn be appointed members, consumer advocates of the Board of Registration of Embalmers and Funeral Directors. Discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. MLA McDonald. For the Department of Service, Nova Scotia Internal Services, I move to Timothy McDermott, Sharon Taylor Scherner. Pardon me? Snare. Snare, thank you. Sherry Norton Burrell and Randy Hume be appointed members of the Film Classification Board. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. Uh, Emily McDonald. Last but not least, for the Department of Service, Nova Scotia Internal Services, I move that David Wu be appointed member of the Nova Scotia Real Estate Commission. Uh, discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary minded nay. That motion carries. Uh, we had some correspondence that came late in the day yesterday. 
I don't know if everyone had a chance to, to review it. Um, if not, my recommendation would be to, to address it at the next meeting. But how does the committee feel about that? Fine? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, I missed, uh, yeah. Okay, we had correspondence actually before the one I was talking about yesterday. Uh, on the 18th of, uh, of July, a letter from the WCB Board of Nova Scotia in response to a request of information made at the 28th of June 2022 meeting. Was there any discussion on that piece of correspondence? No, seeing none. Okay, now back to the letter that came yet. Emily Hansen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and I'm wondering, is this just like, you know, host could be like, can we all decide today? I mean, it isn't really a, um, a big thing to shift time, is it? Or no. do we need to look at the scheduling? I'm, no, I'm fine with that. It just as we didn't have a full membership here, I thought oh, maybe yes. to move to the next one, but at the discretion of the committee, whatever, whatever you wish to choose. I'm okay with deciding today if we okay. want to. Um, regarding the 25th uh, letter from the Educators and Social Justice, we request to move the meeting from November 29th, uh, meeting on teacher workloads to later in the day, and comments from the office of Kathy Montroy, Deputy Minister of Education, Early Childhood Development. Let me just get my notes here. Um, it was asked that... We hold that uh, meeting later in the day to accommodate teacher schedules. Seeing nods around the room that everyone's okay with that. Yeah. So that's fine. I'll pass it over to the, the clerk to so for time? scheduling. Say two to four. Is there a time in this? In the no. No, I think I think in the the letter before you, they've asked. They've asked if it could be held um, over lunchtime or ideally later on in the afternoon. They say that school days end at different times at different schools. So they didn't say what would be a good start time, but I'm thinking maybe two to four. Is everyone, yeah. Emily Ritzy? Yeah, my question is, is <clears throat> what, uh, what's the potential of us sitting, be sitting in the legislature during that time? Well, if uh, well, Kavanaugh. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, if, if, if the House is sitting, <laughs> if the House is sitting, we would do what we normally do when the House sits. The witnesses would be put off till later in the year, and we would just meet briefly at the usual time for ABCs only. Yeah, so everyone's okay with two to four? So we'll get the clerk to double check and see if that works. Um, other business? None. Our next meeting is on Tuesday, August 30th, 2022, from 10 to 11, and we'll be doing uh, agencies, boards, and commission appointments. The meeting has adjourned. <laughs>